We're so lucky to live in a time where there are so many outstanding cell phones to choose from. That said, there are so many choices out there, it's easy for carriers to pad their catalog with a few duds. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, we're counting down the latest crop of smartphones that you should avoid. The phones are ranked from bad to worse by CNET Associate Editor Lin La. Starting off at number five with a rating of two and a half stars, the very cool Quantum. My guess is that we deducted half a star for spelling cool with a K and then proceeded to shave off more points for its slow processor, low res screen, and sad, sad picture quality. On the upside, the phone is 4G compatible and affordably priced at around $220, but you can do better. At number four, also rated at two and a half stars, the LG G3S. My guess is the S stands for sh now keep in mind that the flagship LG G3, the one without the S, is on our list of the CNET's best smartphones. So you'd be forgiven for thinking that this smaller version would be equally great. But you'd be wrong. The processor is weak, the resolution is sad, and the onboard storage is, and I quote, pitiful. So don't be fooled. Coming in at number three on our list of increasingly crappy phones, the ZTE Grand X. Sometimes companies use the letter X to give their product name a little edge and mystery, but in this case, I think ZTE just couldn't be bothered to give this turd a real name. The whole thing is straight out of 2012, running Jelly Bean on a dual-core processor. On the upside, it's only $150 off contract, but you get what you pay for. In at number two, with a two-star rating to match, the Posh Orion Pro X500. The name alone is enough to give me an aneurysm. It sounds like a nuclear warhead designed by the worst Spice Girl. And then there's the phone. Bad screen, bad camera quality, bad call quality, and an old version of Android. The upshot is that it's a dual SIM phone and it only costs $100, but think of all the things you could buy for $100 that don't say posh written on it. And that brings us to our number one phone to avoid as of January 2015. With a rating of one and a half stars, the Huawei Ascend Y550. If you truly hate yourself, this is the perfect phone to help sustain your feelings of unworthiness. The four and a half inch screen keeps your expectations low with an impressively poor 854 by 480 resolution. The specs are dated and the design is ugly. On the upside, the photos taken on this don't look half bad, but you'd never know it on that horrendous screen that they used. So there you go, five phones that aren't worth your money. For more information, you can read Lynn's full post on CNET titled, Don't Buy These Phones. And for more top fives from me, you've got top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.